Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. And I feel like we're right on the cusp of finding out what some of the most important memories in Colin Reed's life are. I don't even know if he remembers them, to be honest. It's concerning, but then again, so have so many things in this game so far. They've been concerning to me. Also, what or who is that, like, um, that shadow that's running around and messing with us? I mean, first they opened the door when we were at the airport so that we could get outside, and then they pushed Neil out of the sky. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's up to us to figure it out, so let's go do it. All right, it's book time. Now we're... Oh, we're getting close to the middle. We're getting close to the middle. Okay, this is uh, Sophia. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. <laughs> I mean, man, I get it. I can't draw. Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. So we were just... Oh, what happened with Faye? Well, we're still skipping around. Some time's probably passed. Alright, what have we got? Oh, a quick pencil sketch. Hey, that's way better than anything I could do, okay? I wonder what he learned to draw like that from. Sheesh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's not that bad. Be a little nice. Jesus. All right, what else have we got? So we're in an aquarium, a classic aquarium date, yeah? This is very, very, uh, very normal. Oh my god. Huh? What, what, what? What? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it scared me. Jellyfish! And a big shark. Uh, are you feeling all right, Eva? So many of them! <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I, I, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will you? Just leave me be for a while. Right. A giant walled aquarium. Oh, okay. Sure, man. What have we got here? Well, I, I guess I've always loved the piano, but also those sharks are huge. When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day, I'd had enough. And I said to myself, someday I'm going to be a concert pianist. Well, you did it. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time er, in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So, in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. Okay. Sure, but I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly places. Hey, why are you looking off to the side, Colin? It's because you're lying. That's it? Oh, yeah? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just... Wanted to go find them again. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. That's our memento. Okay. If you... God, if you say so, game. Jesus. I guess Eva likes jellyfish a lot. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, is this our last? Hey, where's it going? 
This is our last little bit here. That's a squid man, I think. Wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. <laughs> it actually kind of tickles. Oh, and it inked on you. <laughs> Regrets. Ink attack. Why is this even in the petting pool? She thinks it's hilarious. What are these guys? Are they just other kinds of fish? All right, sure. There's a petting pool? That feels weird and a little scary. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Damn, you really love jellyfish, huh? Never seen you act so unprofessional, Eva. Oh, here we go. Adults now. Well, still adults, rather. There she is. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Welcome back, Eva. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? Oh, y you'd better have. It's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah. In a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase. And yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Hmm. Want to draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. What's on the wall over here? Notice of... I keep... The reason I'm skipping so many of these on accident is because I keep thinking that the text is going to need time to scroll across the box, and so I press space to get it to the end. But the airport is closing. Yes, notice of airport closure. I guess all things come to an end. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Just not hit the button so fast. They did spend a lot of their time here, huh? These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. Didn't you want to be a commercial airline or airline pilot? Would you have been able to do that from here? You've always liked that picture. Oh, it's the Godfather. I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Sheesh. Huh. Thanks, boss. Ah, oh, jeez. Why is this happening? This feels so sad. Everything being so empty. What do you mean, Colin? What do you mean she went away? She went somewhere far away. What does that mean? I'm pretty sure you guys are fully adults now, right? Is that the idea? Can't go outside. I guess we're leaving the airport then. All right, here we are. Are they moving stuff onto the trucks? So, what's the next step? Got your book. With the airport closing down and all? Sure. There's a hibiscus flower right next to us. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking, and... I don't know. I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with all that stuff. Wanna help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be of much help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting. Blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. A pigeon? We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. 
Ay. Oh, who the hell is that? Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try landing there. <sighs> there are lots of things that I'm thinking about right now. Things that I'm still trying to understand. One of them primarily being, okay, first off, I don't know who wants what here. What the relationship is, and um, if somebody missed signals, if one person got cold feet, if this is romantic at all, if it was ever romantic at all, because right now it kind of feels like it's not. And like it never was, and that was never a consideration. I don't know, they were so close when they were kids, and you know. I mean, he's the reason, or she's the reason that he started flying. On top of that, she's so... Coy. I, I, I don't know. I, I can't tell if she's, if she was into him or if she was or if she is like that's those are two different things. I'm confused and worried for for both of them. Actually, he seems it seems like this has been a theme throughout his life where people are like, hey, man, are you happy? And he goes, y well, there's never a resounding affirmative. I mean, we know he has a lot of regrets. We've been seeing them all throughout his life. But, okay, so now Sophia and Faye are both in his life at the same time. And another question that I had, what was the whole thing with her parents? Was that just like a strict parents thing? Something like that? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, I can't tell. But that's been in the back of my mind, so let's see if they go on that flight. Yeah, you coming along? Mm-hmm. Twirling her hair. Drifted apart. What do we got here? Colin and Faye had drifted apart. I mean, they used to be as close as could be, right? The airport he trained at closed down. That was the first date. Got it. At a community band rehearsal. Got it. Okay. Understood, understood. <clears throat> it's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He shouldn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. No, no, don't be goofy. Permanent marker, don't be goofy, man. Did you give him a, must a mustache? There, now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job. Now he looks like an affection affectionate joker. We've almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. See, huh, this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning, about doctors who are like, not to say that Neil and Eve are bad at their job, but they can be so blasé. And I guess you'd have to be. I guess you'd kind of have to be to be able to handle, I don't know, something, something ethics, something, something professionalism. They go through a lot. I mean, to the moon was a lot. And then, you know, they had a happy ending there. Happy ending, I guess. But this is like, this is a different situation, and I don't even know what any of the other doctors are like. We haven't seen any of the other ones, except we got a glimpse at one with Roxanne, the beginning of this game. I don't know. I really don't know. It just feels, it doesn't feel bad, but it does feel a little insensitive for him to say this. That guy's dying. This this guy, that person that, whose memories we are trawling through right now, he's dying, and he feels like something's missing. That's a, that's a horrible feeling. It's hard. It's um not crushing. That's 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 a strong word. But it it, it tugs at you. It, it makes you you just feel it for so long. That kind of feeling. 
Yearning is another- is a word that I would use. It's of the same vibe, the same family, but it's not the right word. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think it's as cut and dry as Neil is making it out to be. But maybe it is that simple? Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. Whoa. That a reference to the moon? Shoot. I don't know if I can remember. It's been so long since I played. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I... I guess you're right. We can start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Oh, hello! Uh, could it be? Oh, Roxy! Hi, Roxy! <laughs> oh. How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. Getting rid of the, the, the lipstick musta mustache. How, uh, are you, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork all right. How long have we, have we even been in here? I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Oh, Dr. Robert Lynn and Dr. Roxanne Winters. And I guess also, are they wearing different clothing than... They, their motif is blue, I think. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? Oh my god, are they going to yank us out? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask about the machine. I'm heading out, get the forms ready for a fill-in. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to see what that says in post. Because, again, I actually- ugh. Just keep hitting spacebar a little too quickly. About the machine. In the back or something, I don't know. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Collins are patient now and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. And then he's out of here? When were you one for protocol? Get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Well... Okay. Oh, I'm getting forcefully kicked out. I thought I was gonna have a choice to switch back and forth between- Oh my god, it's only Act 2. Act 2. You don't have to leave anymore. I thought I was getting closer to the end of the game. I think I'm wrong. We've just started Act 2, Act 3. So let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt? Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. Wait, I love- I think I love Roxanne. She's me coded. <laughs> You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me of a bit. A bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. <laughs> I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow. Whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. <clears throat> Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob. But did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to. But I'm gonna find out. Hey Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine, I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? What the fuck is going on? What does this mean? Is Neil a bad guy? No, he's not. No way. 
but like, I knew Roxanne was gonna be cool from the moment we, from the word go. And I, I'm only been being proven right, but anyway. Oh, Rob, you tripping again? <laughs> no, I am not in fact tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just well. They've almost unblocked his or unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. Well, I've got an Act Two title card that says otherwise, right? <laughs> Perhaps things might not be as easy peasy. Hey, look, I, think, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. Uh-huh, move along. Just don't mess this case up. I had a strange feeling about it when I read the files. Okay. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, about your machine. Yup, dry cleaning is just the best. Oh wait, can I read anything about the, uh, the forms at all? No, I can't, okay. So Eva's still in there, or so it would seem. Can I switch back and forth between them? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, what does this say? Oh, it's the photo album. It's only got Sophia in it. Well, of course it does. The photos look happy enough, don't they? <sighs> don't they? Did we ever turn the page back? Like, before these? There isn't one. Just trying to make sure there isn't anything hidden. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories. And we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Okay. Might as well go upstairs and check on things. Oh! Sophia! Hey! You're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh... Yes. We're done connecting most of the pads through Colin's memories, by the way. If you like, I can tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but... You're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now... I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Oh, shoot, I forgot I was doing an old voice for them when they were old. I'm so used to just being in Colin's memories. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. What a steady and rock-solid mindset. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now, it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But, I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. 
Yeah. No hard feelings. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not, right? Why not? Where's... This book wasn't anything, was it? No. Okay. I need to talk to... Well, first, I need to see what's up with, uh... Okay, you've said the same thing the whole time, Doctor. That disturbances only make your job harder. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's it looking? Okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Neil? Why are you using unofficial equipment? Why is your Sigmund Corp, like, issue stuff back at your office? Why'd you disengage the stabilizers and... Uh, among uh, amongst other things. Why'd you do that? Hmm? Got an answer for me, buddy? Because I'm nervous. May I talk to you in private for a moment? Yes. All right, come on. How could I say no? What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and uh, what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like, being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So, please. Could you tell me? Oh, man, no, I don't want to make this decision. Jesus Christ, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I just played Neil as somebody who was willing to share stuff with his wife, because, you know, it's his wife. And there is some, such a thing as patient confidentiality. This is, this is ethics we're talking about here, and they are doctors. But, like... If Neil's reasoning before was, well, you're his wife, I think you deserve to know. Maybe it's because of the intimate relationship they had, but he's his son. This isn't really any different. I mean, it's different, in, obviously, in multiple senses, but... They're still family. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? I don't have a good idea. So I'm gonna go based off of what Neil just did to be consistent with the reasoning that he was giving to Sophia. So I'm gonna reveal info about Colin. And also, it's his son. Right? Though there is something to be said about giving this information and hurting him, right? And marring the memory of his father forever. But they're family. And this is such an intimate thing to be doing. Us as outsiders, interlopers, really, and just getting to know him like this. I didn't think about this when I played To the Moon. But it's because these questions weren't the kinds of questions that were being posed. Regardless. Let's talk about it. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. But we're assuming. We don't even know if that's true, Neil. We don't. He just asked to be happy. That's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always gonna have cravings and longings for what ifs. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as a part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. All right. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. All right, it's time to get back in. View connection status. 
external neuro connections. One operator profile, Dr. Eva Rosa or Rosalind or Rosaline, and established communication. Hey Eva, do you hear me? Neil? How's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still, there was only one left. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... What the hell was that? Damn it. Where are my pills? What the fuck? What is going on? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, not finished with the paperwork yet. Oh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, just make it quick. Shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. What is happening right now? It's, oh God, I'm so worried. Um, it has become nighttime, which is interesting. Well, let's see if Roxanne stops us, huh? I think Roxy and Lynn, are, I don't know. I don't know if they're, um, I think they might be the people that we follow in the next game. I'm not sure. Not back in there yet. Constipation looks like it. Go take a walk. That doesn't look like work. It's Space Invaders 12, the origin story. Turns out that they were mutant humans and we were the aliens all along. I'm going to kill them all. So you're just going to hang around here? Yup. Well, Neil certainly doesn't want that. Is Sophia still upstairs? Or has she... Is she okay? She's closed her eyes. Yeah, okay. She's not up for talking anymore. Alright, let's get out to the car and see what's going on. <laughs> Knocked on this guy's door. No, this isn't f This ain't fair! I worked so hard my whole life, and I have to die before I've even been to Detroit? F Whoa. Whoa, Angus. Okay. Can I knock again? You know what? I just realized there's a medical doctor with you. Perhaps they could still save me if I just put in more effort, money. Go to the real world and tell them to save me, please. It's not too late. You again. No need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were ways to save me. They would have done it already. There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Dude. Dude, please chill. Please, please chill out. I've had, I've thought it through. Everybody dies someday for me. Today is as good a day as any. And with you here, you can make my dreams come true. So today's actually my lucky day. So go ahead, fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king. As I said, you're not our patient and we aren't here for you. Also, you tripping, man. Bye. <laughs> I sure hope you won't be assigned to us. Yeah, no answer. That's what I thought. All right, back to the car. Oh, hello. Hey, mister. Potato and... Um... No, no, no. Wait, sorry. I just... <laughs> <laughs> that looked like Faye for a second, maybe. So I freaked out a little. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? Carola, it's okay. I hope you traumatize that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. Damn. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You, uh... You named your other kid Potato too? It's just a nickname, I see. His real name's Spud. Visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he's he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear. You meant figuratively. <laughs> oh, aw. But whatever. So anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Amaretto sour, hold the amaretto. What for? To write spy messages, of course. Lemon juice on the pages. Lemon juice on the pages. Maybe so his family couldn't see them? Jesus Christ. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. 
Huh. Lucky me. Give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Write a letter to yourself. Time to head home. And I'm getting a phone call now. Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye. Bye, potato. Did you find that last memory link? No, are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Oh, shit, not like this. Anything but this. Don't let it be Colin's fault, please. Someone that he cared for. Someone that he was close with, drifted apart from. Colin, you need those pills, don't you? I mean, uh, Neil. Right? What is going on with you? Hi, Roxanne. Hello? Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running, helping me run a, a record check? Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh, okie dokie, Loki Pop. It's settled that I'll call you back with the results. I don't know how she's saying that. Loki? Loki? Oh, is it Loki? Because, like, L-O-K-I? I don't know. Jesus Christ. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Jesus Christ, what is going on? It's only Act 2. Holy shit. Getting a phone call again. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the- Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she- Eva? Uh, you, 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 st you still there? Weird. The comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Buddy, this feels a little urgent. I don't know if that's just me, man. But if I were you, I'd hurry. Because this is, um... This is not good. Also, what's up with all these pigeons? Hmm? They're watching me. Oh! Who the hell are you? It's the guy with the motorcycle, I guess. Wait a minute. Huh, that's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. What do you what do you mean by that, Neil? Jesus Christ. Okay, what's happening? Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. How's the record search going? Was she in one? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is... Not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record of existence... anywhere. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases even... Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death. Not even birth. Oh. Oh. So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry. I got another call. Hello? Is it... Oh, are we gonna come back to Eva? Then what are these pills even for? What the fuck is going on right now? 
Yeah, yeah, start running, huh? Act 3. Even if it was just someone like me. Act 2 was someone like me was the last words there. Were, were the last words on that there. So, 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 Act 2 said, you don't, you know, you don't have to leave anymore or something like that. And Act 3 was, uh, even if it was just someone like me. Where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Got a hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather... peculiar cases. Capable of what? I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably going to give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. And you know, apparently these two are the best that Sigmund has to, Sigcorp has to offer. Because they were the ones who were supposed to be on this job, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but... By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh... And it's gonna be so much fun! You're looking forward to it. She's scary. Jesus Christ. Ooh, wait. Something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor... Well... I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-thread firewall. Neil, what the fuck are you doing, man? What are you doing? Why is this what's happening right now? Can you please explain this to me? She's gone. What the hell? And what are those pills for? Why is there no Fay? Jesus Christ. Okay. Here. I think that this is all the time that we have for today. Oh my god. All right. Everything's things are starting to kick off. And I'm worried. This is way more um, I guess intense than to the moon. They decided to really spice things up. But um, if you guys got speculation, put it down in the comments. Please don't spoil me. If that's what you plan to do, and otherwise, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. I definitely did. I'm excited. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye! Thank you.